Today I'm going to print a model that was designed for resin in filament. My name is Carol Miranda. If you are part of the maker world, or if you are a chess player, or even if you are not a part of any of these groups, stay tuned to this video anyway. Just kidding, but please keep watching. Our first STL at STL Flix was kind of chess -ed. Do you remember I promised you a surprise on the videos? There you go. We are making this Viking King chess piece available for free for you that's watching. Just click on the link on the description below and follow the steps to get yours. But it was designed for resin printing. Just a Side note, if you don't know what resin is, it's a thick liquid that hardens when in contact to UV light. So layer by layer it forms the final piece. And the build plate is upside down. One of the greatest pros of resin over filament is the great finishing quality for small pieces. A very strong comb for me is the mess the resin makes and it needs curing after printing. Unlike the filament, which is just a roll of filament that melts with high temperature and it creates the model by depositing this melted material layer upon layer. What made me want to print this piece was our release of a new complete chess set, with a chess board included, which even created some animosity around here. The first hard part of printing something made for resin is the supports. I had to put a lot of them so the piece won't float and end up in a noodle chaos. So I downloaded from our platform, opened it on our slicer, and the first thing I had to do was check where I should put the supports. I had a small issue on the slicer because it wasn't identifying the interfaces, which is a bed, so to speak, that makes between the piece and the support to ease the removal. So I changed it to work a slicer and worked. I placed all my supports and set it to print. Only this time I put two main supports and it swallow our axis handle completely. And it broke the axe while printing. Thankfully, I managed to glue it after removing the supports. And here he is, both printed in resin and painted, and only in filaments. You can see that for a print this small, the filament loses a bit of the detailing from the clothes. Meanwhile, Google printed a Viking King way bigger than mine. And I thought, I want one too. Only Hugo cut its base so the cloak sat directly onto the build plate, like this. So it doesn't need supports here. But I am a fan of challenge. I decided to print the same small one, just scaled up 180%. And I had the same problem with the X. <laughs> so I got to the slicer and cut the X. Then added a pin so I can plug after it's done. For some reason, something happened with the support and it ripped out our X again but the rest of the print kept going and it turned out really pretty. Our office's cleaning lady saw this loose piece around and popped it out. So we don't have the rest of the eggs. So I'm going to have to improvise. I will put the rest of the eggs of another Viking on this one. Hugo had a total success on his piece and I had some troubles, but this week all our printers were out of me. I still wasn't done, so I asked our model shop to print in resin the 180 scale up Viking. But after several tries, we gave up. They told me the Viking was too heavy and was detaching from the build plate. So for now, I decided to keep with only this filament printed Viking. So that's the end result, guys. I hope you like it. And if you did, leave a like, subscribe to our channel, and see you next time. Bye bye!